whenever you would like to start. Uh, I'm just going to say this is yeah, Monday, September 9th. Way to sound like a zombie. <laughs> Hello, it is Monday, September 9th, <laughs> 2013. September 9th, 2013. Should I just... Monday. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's uh, it's Monday, <laughs> September 9th, twenty thirteen. This is this is where you put the saxophone music in the back. <laughs> we uh, this is for what you will first podcast. Uh, we'd like to introduce Franklin, Sup, Joe, guys? and Julian. And we are what, what you really. Yeah. Oh yeah, but I'll be really serious in the beginning though. <laughs> you can that do that is, thing. We're recording now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't record. Start over. <laughs> no, we're putting that. That's funny. Start over. <laughs> As you can tell, this is our first podcast. 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 Pa- yeah, this is our podcast. Hello, this is podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Your Ellen Podcast. We have Brandon Creo, Joe Watson, Julian Chavez. Why did it take so long? And me. Who's me? So easy. <laughs> my, my name's Franklin. Franklin Tobin. Franklin. Franklin. Franklin Tobin. That's not funny because my teachers call me Franklin when they call roll. <laughs> Is there a Franklin? It's, it's Franklin. My corporal calls me it, Carillo. It's spelled, yes, yes, I know how it's spelled. Thank you very much. Um, they called me Carillo. Uh, Timothy, Timothy Carillo. Franklin. It's Franklin. Shut your mouth. No, no it's Franklin, okay? Deal with it. <laughs> Private, Private <God>. Carillo. <laughs> Remember that video with uh, um, Key and Peele? The, uh, how'd it go? Oh, God. What video? The, one, the teacher one. Uh, all right, y'all. I'm y'all substitute teacher, Mr. Garvey. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> Just the main point. A Aaron. Is there an Aaron here? Where is A Aaron right now? <laughs> well, you better be sick, dead, or mute, A Aaron. <laughs> okay. the best part. So, yeah, no uh, more Key and Peele. Where is uh, that's that's copyright of Key and Peele. No, what? Where's the list? I don't know. What'd you do with it? No, what'd you do? Join you idiot. There it is. <laughs> right under your. There we go. Okay. All right. So this is our first podcast. Is what you are in? <clears throat> A great new format because we don't always have to be in front of the camera, but eventually we plan on doing, or at least I hope we're gonna do a. Uh, video podcast which will be just us sitting around and the camera's just stationary in one point and we're not being weirdos and Joe's not laughing from every joke because he's not <laughs> he's say it don't spray it hey <laughs> um I'm gonna lose my train of thought that was your fault uh, feel free to chime in anytime <laughs> I will chime in <laughs> wow <laughs> so how about we uh, have those topics of the day all right, well, so sure. basically the structure of our shows, we're going to be basically just talking as we are with our personalities and all that. But we've got some topics written down. So um, so I don't think, if, if you guys don't mind, I would like to start with the what you're real and stuff, like who mm-hmm. we are and all that. So <clears throat> fine with me. What's your real in? <laughs> Many people have asked, what does the name what's your real in mean? If anyone want to? Yes, that. very complex. We actually, what your villain was not the first name that we thought of. I think we had five other names. I, can't uh, I don't think it's safe. Huh? You see, the name what your villain um, it, it originates from Latin. <laughs> if you look in Oxford Dictionary, page six hundred and forty-two, <laughs> it clearly states, no. um, "What your villain is all of our last names put into one word." Yeah. So Watson, uh, Real. Chavez, Carrillo, and Tobin. Yep. What you really? <clears throat> we st- we had another uh, a lot of really odd ones, but we opted those out because they didn't really ring right. So. And what you really sounds pretty catchy. Yeah, what you really? It's what not. You really? It's like a plan. Words is like it sounds like like something like what what are you doing? Like yeah, what you doing? Something like that. So yeah. I like it. What you really? We're you just know? adding our own little flavor. Yeah. <laughs> just, just Everyone likes their own flavor. This is a podcast, not a late night sex line. 
Hey, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm wearing the headphones and I can hear you in my ear. You're whispering to me. <laughs> hey there. How you feeling? How you so, doing? I'm surrounded by a bunch of dudes. Sausage fest up in here. Sausage fest. Oh. You just called Brandon's girlfriend a sausage no, person. The two people who are talking in my ears. <laughs> you didn't have to do okay. it in my, in my ears. ears. <laughs> like, oh, OMG. Okay. All right. Um, Hurry up. Topics of the day. Hold on. There's more to the what's your villain thing. Um, Ooh. I just want to go on like when we started. We started back springtime. Um, I think. Uh, actually, or, beginning of the summer. Was it beginning of the summer? Beginning of the summer. Did, this is a correct summer. statement. Yeah. <laughs> um, we started beginning of the summer. And the story basically is for the longest time. You see, I had... I think all have has all of us had a YouTube channel before. What's your real one? Yes. yes. I posted yep. a couple of videos. At least I posted like two yeah. or three. I had a bunch of like no one. Yes, <laughs> same here. I had a few. Like they were very amateur and I had a lot to learn. But um for the longest time recently I wanted to restart a new mm-hmm. channel <clears throat> involving multiple people and really collaborating on that. And then Joe, uh him and I were talking one day back around uh um this the no, it was the, the December, last December. It was last December, I remember, because I think I was on the ranches. No, no, no. The, you, weren't, you weren't in the ranches last December. No, you're right. No, I wasn't. <laughs> so we, we were just talking, and we uh, he expressed that he wanted to do a YouTube channel with us. And I was thinking, yeah, we should get, like, Brandon and Franklin in there. So it was around spring or summertime, and I was like, dude, we should start a channel. And then one day we got everyone together, and that was our first session. We knocked out the bloopers, which <laughs> sadly our most watched video had like 70 or 80 views. <laughs> yeah, groundbreaking. Groundbreaking job, guys. Really, just give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> we are up there. <laughs> this there. is your chest joke. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do we need to bring out the flashcards again? No, <laughs> not those. No. Where does in the corner? Not again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> so that's the basic story, and we've been going on since. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Brandon just clapped his thighs in the most odd <laughs> way ever. It was so random, and I happened to be looking over, and there's this. Oh, and he's wearing shorts, and. <laughs> <laughs> so, Julia. Yeah. Did you see his junk? No, I didn't okay, not good. see his junk. <laughs> He's lying. He just doesn't want it. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so that's basically it. Here we are now. Um, we've been on a bit of a hiatus. We, we've had a lot of projects we've been wanting to do. One of which is something called the Spread of Terror, which is a zombie series we want to get into. A long-term running YouTube zombie series. But you have to stay tuned for that. Yeah. Yes. We're not going to ruin any that's surprises a, that's or anything. Upcoming feature. Yeah, we were going to start back in um, August with production, but a lot of things came up, so we just had to cancel it, postpone it, actually. We have people lined up, but one of the main things is we need more people. And, I mean, it's just the four of us, and I do most of the editing, so it's hard on me, so... <laughs> Get, on all of we gotta get a bigger team, so yeah. We also need uh, equipment, good equipment like cameras and all that. I mean, we have a, a good little one, and Franklin's got a good one we haven't even used yet. So you know, I've been busy. Okay. Maybe we <laughs> should recruit some people who are good with audio. At, if only you know that. That's why I'm hoping this podcast, if, if only, it gets out, that only. people can uh, get interested. We could definitely use some more people that'll help us out. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, <laughs> let me ask you guys a question now. Speaking of what you're willing. If it ever comes down to it, and I know that what you're willing is um, all of our last names, and we've joked about it a few times, like if one of us got like kicked out or something like that, like if we got in this big ass feud, <laughs> and like say I got kicked out, and what you, we joked about like what Rillin, what Rillin, because I wouldn't be there. <laughs> It'd just be what Stop that. Stop. <laughs> Don't scratch the table. I'm messing with the mic. <laughs> anyway, so the question is. If it came down to it, would we ever be open to recruit more people into what you're willing? To recruit, by the way. Yeah, 
I said that. You no, said, you said requu. Requu. Did I? Requu. Requu. Oh. I'm sorry. That is the Latin pretext of recruit. <laughs> Dated back to the 1980s. <laughs> so no, really, like, what do you think? I'm o- I'm open. No, not. Feel free to be a little bit more open. There's a lot of blank spaces. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Trilling. I don't think it would be right to, you know, recruit more people because we would have to alter the game. No, I, well, I don't, I don't think we would have to alter it. You just add a plus. What's your real in? <laughs> plus. Blank. <laughs> it's yeah. like a big ass name. It takes up like more than a page on YouTube. I just don't. You have to like click page two for the rest of the <laughs> I don't think that'd be good though. I think we, the. It'd just be good with all four of us. Well, I mean, why would we kick each other out? Really? No, I, I don't. I don't think we would kick each other out. I think the name, as it is, would stay the same. But like, we could add on more people. Not like a background team, like a what's your real end featuring something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, like what's yeah. your real end featuring Brandon's girlfriend? Not quite. Not quite. Or <laughs> what's your real end featuring? Nigahiga. Anyways, we got the, we, we, we got the <laughs> yeah, idea. Yeah, right. I would love to have Nigahiga be on our show. That, you know how amazing that would be. <laughs> then I wouldn't be the only Asian. <laughs> huh. Okay. All right. So um, we're gonna start on with our other topics now. So I want Brandon to start with his, since we're just gonna go in the, the order. <clears throat> go ahead and just talk about and talk about what's been going on with you, because you got a good story going on, huh? I do, actually. <laughs> it's pretty. It's a pretty awesome story. I'll try and abbreviate it as for as much as possible. So, Julian brought up a story that I told him a long time ago about going to Sonic with a friend of mine, <laughs> who happened to be very, very high, and just out of his mind. You were also high. I was also yes. <laughs> he was not, under the influence. I was the influence of the pot. Of the pot. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so we go to Sonic. And he has a hundred bucks, so he ends up buying hundred dollars worth of Sonic food. I don't know how me or him ate it. Do not ask because I don't know. I think we had leftovers. I'm sure. <laughs> and the next day he asks where his money is, and I said we spent it all on Sonic, and he said it was his rent money. So, oh, come on. <laughs> the first time you told the story, you're like, dude, that's your rent money. Shh, we're going. <laughs> oh, you want me to go into, into bigger yes, detail? Yes, I want that story, not the... Yeah, we went to Sonic. Oh, so you don't want the abbreviated story? You no, want. I, w- I want the... Come on, man, this is a podcast. <laughs> Get right. into it. Don't just sound I'm gonna like give freaking... You, I'm going to give you the meat and You don't potatoes. want to sound like Larry King. <laughs> no, this is not Larry King. Cop- copyright. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll start over again with that story. Me and my friend okay. <laughs> go to Sonic. He was like, I'm really... Really hungry. Like, that's what he said. Yeah. No no curse words. No curse words. <laughs> just really hungry. So I was like, okay, well, let's go to Sonic then. Brandon, so he's like, I am really hungry. <laughs> Hello. I am very hungry. <laughs> that was really robotic. You sound like a robot. You can be a bionicle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bionicle. Anyways, so we drive up to Sonic, right? And I'm like, and he's like, dude, I got a hundred bucks in my pocket. I'm just going to buy Sonic. And I'm like, isn't that your rent money? And, he, and then he goes up to me and he goes, shh, it's okay. It's all right. And I say, oh, okay. So he ends up buying like $100 worth of food. The person on the microphone was, I think, in shock. Because it's not every day you see someone going up to Sonic spending 100 bucks on food. Well, I bet I, I would be pissed. Like, have them, okay, is that all? That, is that... Sir, did you want the number three or the number four? <laughs> Which one did you want? No onions. I want the number three with no onions. Uh, sir, I couldn't hear you. Please repeat in the microphone. Seeds, uh, bun seeds. <laughs> you want you, you want what? You want buns? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's that's a a good example. So we buy all the food. The girl comes out, gives us all the food, and we just are pretty sure it wasn't just one person. No, it, I can't remember. I think it was multiple people. Yeah, it was probably like five or more people because a hundred dollars worth of Sonic will not fit on one of those little small round trays. No, it would not. It'd have to be a very big gas round tray. <laughs> like coming out with boxes of food. 
The whole team just comes out. <laughs> <laughs> we got your order here. <laughs> They're all Sorry. like rollerblades. Yep. So yeah, that that story was pretty funny because he was really pissed off the next day when I he asked where his money was. I was like, he spent it on Sonic, remember? And he's like, ah! Oh! He got really pissed off. My rent money. It was it was his rent money. So yeah. Okay. That, interesting story. So yeah. out of all of that, how do you think the trip to the bathroom felt? Oh god. Hundred uh, bucks worth of food. Do you, do you remember the trip to the bathroom? <laughs> no, I remember my friend just being on the toilet for more than a couple. I think like an hour. I don't know if it was constipation or just all the food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about it—all those carbs and calories and waste you're eating. Now let me ask you something. All those carbs. Is this the f- same friend that would um, play "I Want to Fuck a Dog in the Ass" by your bathroom door? Yes. <laughs> he played it for 30 minutes while I was in the restroom. And now, if you don't know this song, it's a song by Blink-182, and it's, it's, it's just on, um, it's really basic, but the, the whole chorus is, I... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got this, okay. Why don't you get out the guitar, at least? No, copyright. Copyright? Oh, yeah. Well, just, just, just look up the song on YouTube. I want to fuck a dog in the ass. But you do. I don't really. That's that's <laughs> gross. So yeah, he played that song. If you don't know what it is, look it up. It's a good. It's a real song by Blink One Eighty Two. Yes. It's a real. The real Blink One. The real Blink One Eighty Two. Uh, at the real Blink One Eighty Two on Twitter. I don't know if that's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's a name. Um, hashtag. 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 <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. Anyway, um. But I'll wrap up my second uh, experience. So I decided to join the New Mexico Army National Guard. Yay. Yes. I am 11 Bravo Infantry, leaving for Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. What happened to the peace, bro? January 7th is my shipment date. I will be there for 14 weeks. But yeah. I'm pretty excited. What happened to the whole 10 basic or 10 um, basics or is that only the one? infantry is the only school that has their entire basic training and schooling in one. So it's 14 weeks. Is there a possibility you get to do airdrops or yes, I can go into the airborne if I qualify for that. You should totally do that. I think I might be pretty, pretty BA. B- so yeah, <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited about that. I just did my first round of drill this weekend, which is, Hiring. And so, and I got sunburnt on my shaven head. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. I didn't recognize him when he wa- when I when we walked in. Yeah, this is how the standards are now. Having short, short, bald hair. This is how it is. This is how it is, man. And my corporal keeps calling me Carrillo. He doesn't want to call me Carrillo. Is he white? Yes, he is. I'm not, I'm not trying to be racist or anything. No, but he so. is. He, he's, he's a big white guy. <laughs> the big old white guy. Watch your corporal just be listening to this podcast. <laughs> if, he get, is, girl, if he is, if he is, I'm going to have to owe him like 30 push-ups, and I don't really feel like that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's me, guys. I'll tell the story uh, that you just said about the push-ups in football or something like that that happened, and you raised your hand or something. Oh, yeah. With the Raiders? Uh, no, or something. 49ers. 49ers. Oh. oh, yeah. My so my corporal he asked if anyone didn't like the 49ers. I happened to be one of four people that raised their hand, and he told us we had to do 15 push-ups. So just be careful with that. Don't hate the other the drilled sergeants team because they might make you do push-ups or flutter kicks. No, hate it all you want. It's freedom. Of mind, be oh. expressive, but you're just gonna have to do some push-ups. I didn't realize we were on like Doctor Phil. <laughs> be expressive. <laughs> how is that Doctor Phil? Oh, okay. He, expressive. What do you mean? How is it not Doctor? Yeah. Express how? yourself. <laughs> Hashtag. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, did you say when you were leaving? January seventh. We're all gonna miss you so 
so. 2014. But you got to hide weeks. under your bed and do Skype with us for podcasts. <laughs> I will. I I'm think in. you're allowed to bring your phone. Yeah, yep, you're allowed I'm allowed to, to have my cell phone. You, 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 you have to leave them in your corridors and stuff. Yes. You can't bring them out with you. This is true. Because... A, a yeah. video blog of him just running. <laughs> Vine. Video blog. Uh, Vine. Go into your drill. Push ups. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, my brother's or our old family friend, his name's Eddie, he went to the army. And I guess in their corridors, they always have a bat that happens to come in every single month or every single week. Like a, a, a bat bat? No, Batman. <laughs> a bat. A yes. flying bat. Yes, a okay. bat. A bat. And you just see. Every single person have their phone recording just trying to catch a bat. And this thing is, like, smaller than your hand. Wow. And I guess one of the drill sergeants came in because it was before they started drill, and everyone got yelled at. And you can hear it on the video. It's pretty crazy. (laughs) So, Brandon, do not have your phone out in the corridors. We will not. Uh, Just a quick side note. Um... I'm going to play something that's copyrighted. Um, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag. Hashtag. All, what all, is it? The sound belongs to the movie that it is affiliated with. What is with. it? What's that? Okay, I don't like that. Just, just stop. Oh, my God. You gotta play that. Uh, you gotta play that. Why? That's, that's copyright of Saw. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Now we're going to get shut you down. Have to do, no, you have to do the studio. You have to do the year. Uh, I believe it's 2001 or I'm not sure, but we don't own that sound. I just wanted to play it because it's funny. Sounds like that are fine. Like, really. Actually, I don't think the sound is really copyright. Like, you don't need to copyright that sound. No, uh, I don't I don't think so. But I think, I think we're good. Yeah. Um, I want to play a game. So is that all on your end on the topics? Yes, that's all on my end. So is it Joe's turn? Uh, yes, it's Joe's turn. Joe, right. take Joe, it away. Time to hit the I'll mic. Let you have the mic. <laughs> and now! Oh my god, my <laughs> ear! It's time for Joe Joe Coming in from the blue corner, we have Joe Watson. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Here's oh my god, this is Joe! You know, sometimes I forget we're in an apartment. Yeah, me we too. are in an apartment. Sorry. Someone's gonna come up to the door and be like, "Shut the fuck!" And now <laughs> on the mic, Joe Binks. All right. So today I wanted to talk about some football and let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. <laughs> All right. So this week weekend was the first weekend of the NFL so, season. Season, yeah. Duh. So, um, quick question. How, Broncos. Uh, yes, that's what I was about to bring up. How, how, how do you like that Broncos game? The Broncos game, it was pretty good. You know, the, the Peyton Manning did a very good job at passing the ball and getting it to where he wanted to go. Unlike Joe Flacco, on the other hand, was not doing that well. Okay, well. I mean, come on. The Super Bowl champs need, can do better than that. Well, they, they, did, they, did, they lost them. two of their yeah, good players. One of their best was Ray Lewis. Of course. I don't remember the other one's name. Ed Reed. Ed Reed, Ed Reed okay. I mean, Ray Lewis was a power player. He was the pretty much the guy that he, I can't, was I, the motivator. I can't really join in this because I don't watch football. Here's some fries. Get out of here, call me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I, I mean, really, do, I, do we really think Peyton Manning would have did really good if they had Ray Lewis still on the team? Um, I think the gameplay would have been a little... I, I, I would actually think they would have been tied up. I think so, too. I don't mm-hmm. think that um, the Broncos would have did as well if they still had Ed Reed yeah. and Ray Lewis. Yeah, I mean, getting seven touchdowns in a game, I mean, come on. Br- Broncos... Their offense is really good, but honestly, they they still they still need some work on their defense. Their defense is it's a little rugged, yeah. Yeah, but all around they they did a really good job job at opening the season. They so, sure did. Hashtag was, Broncos. Do we, hashtag don't walk. Broncos. Don't walk behind hashtag me. Hashtag 2013 2014 football season. I, I honestly think that this season is going to be one hell of a season. So, 
Who do we think is gonna make it to the Super Bowl? Well, well, let's not let, let's not talk about the Super Bowl. Let's let's talk about playoffs. Who do you think is gonna make it to the playoffs? This is Broncos intense. definitely. Honestly, yeah. I think I think the Broncos. Broncos. Broncos has a good shot. Let's see. Watching some of the teams today, and of course, of course, me personally, I think the Saints are good, are doing a lot better this year. They got Sean Payton back, and they. And if any of you guys watched preseason, preseason was just awesome. And um, did any of the teams go four and zero? Um, I am not sure. I didn't watch the whole preseason. I didn't watch the whole preseason. I, I, I kept either. up with Saints preseason. They went. I, yep. They went three and one. And yeah, Patriots also went three and one. They lost to the Lions, which I was pretty disappointed in them. But D, the Lions are doing pretty good. They're they're yeah. they're, an, they're a big underdog team. Now. They they are. They uh, really are. Another big underdog team. What I saw was the Chiefs. They, oh yeah. They oh, blew yeah. away the Jaguars, twenty-eight to two. Oh, I didn't get to watch the game, but I I, I, saw, I read highlights about it and stuff. And yeah, they they just just, just destroyed the yeah. Jaguars. So bad for the so. Jaguars. It was another good game. Oh, the Patriots and the Bills game. That was a nerve wracking fourth quarter. Yeah, I, I watched a little bit of the last quarter and. Just seeing, you know, but, Tom Brady come out of nowhere and just start throwing passes deep and left and right, and but uh, he he held it together. He he, held, he was probably pressured, but oh, he held it together. He he did it. He, he did a good job. He did. So, they were really good teams tonight. Is um um the Giants and the. <laughs> Giants and the Cowboys. Sorry about that. Oh, no. yeah. I don't know how that game's gonna go. Living in New Mexico, there's way too many Cowboys fans. Okay. That and Raiders fans. Can I cut oh, in yeah. just for one second? No, this is completely off of the topic. Go but, for it. But Joe mentioned that um, the, what the game is tonight, and just so you know, we record these before the day that we say in the podcast. We said the ninth of um, uh, freaking September. And Frickin actually, September. we're recording it on the eighth, so just throwing that out there. But yeah, um, in New Mexico, there's a lot of Raiders and Cowboys fans, but we're closer to the West, so. But um, honestly, because of how many Cowboys fans, that really make me mad. Like even in our <laughs> local mall, there's a Cowboy store, an all oh, Cowboy yeah. store. Oh yeah. Me, <clears throat> like all of us, are all tempted to just go in and ask for our teams. Um, they get their own store. Yeah, just we just ask for their. It, um, do you have stuff. any Broncos stuff here? <laughs> but, One thing I'm excited for is I might get the opportunity to work for a sports store. Really? Yeah. Is it Pro Image or or not Pro Image? Fans. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a really good sports store. Yeah, I love fans. Mainly, oh, mainly hats and everything, but it's it's a really good store. They their their jerseys are really nice. Yeah, probably, they have a lot of. Nice I actually, stuff. I think that's where I, I don't remember, but that's where I have my um, interview. No, um, my double stitch breeze jersey. Yeah, that's where I got my um my Tom Brady double stitched. Yeah, it's it really place, nice. Imagine that place does pretty good around the holidays. Oh, oh the, yeah. The, those places go do really good around holidays. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I am I think because I'm a Patriots fan, I'm pretty sure they're going to make it to the playoffs. They always have. There's only one year that they did not make it to the playoffs, and that was 2008 when Tom Brady was injured, and we had Matt Castle mm. as the quarterback. and He didn't do that well that season. Not but, at all. I don't even know if he's still playing anymore. I haven't seen him. I still remember he was playing for the Chiefs, and now someone else is there for the Chiefs. Speaking of uh, no one playing, let's talk about Tim Tebow. Yeah, <laughs> on that, <laughs> let's talk about Tim Tebow. Uh, that's probably one of the big subjects out there for all you sports fans. Uh, let's talk about Tebow. Tim Tebow, you know. Everyone should know Tim Tebow. Yep, the, the godly quarterback. Yep. Well, not really godly, but religious. <laughs> uh, last time I heard, uh, um, since he's not going to be playing in the season, that he might move to a Canadian team or something like that. If he does that, then, well, good luck to him. But 
Honestly, I don't see him as a quarterback at all. I see him more of a running back or maybe even a fullback if he gets built stronger. Exactly. That's that's good distance. Good distance from the mic. Yep. Yeah. But um, he's just not that good of a throwing quarterback. He doesn't really have the arm power, but he has the speed. Yeah, he's so quick. He is. He's, he's got the speed. That's so, what she thought. So if he was given a chance to try again for a uh, one of the teams, one of the 32 teams of the National Football League, as a running back or a fullback, I think he would do much better. Yeah, like Tebow, buddy. Like you're you're a good player and all. You're you're strong. You're dedicated. But go out for a different position, man. You 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 never know. Yeah. You can actually probably get the A team to. Did he super- play for Florida in college? I think so. Yeah, he he did pretty good in um in college if he if I remember correctly, he did play for Florida, the Gators. <clears throat> and then another big subject was I like how you ended uh, that. Yeah, I'm done talking about Tebow. The, transition. <laughs> the, Quick transition. I know this was a while back ago, but I still want to bring it up. The Aaron Hernandez dilemma. Don't remember. Was convicted of oh, murder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a little disappointed because he was a patriot. He was a patriot, and just you know, I don't know what's wrong with him. Or honestly, once a patriot, always a patriot. Yeah. Besides Tim Tebow. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Tim <laughs> Tebow has been in many different teams already. The Broncos, the Jets, now the Patriots. Kind of like a young Brett Favre. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. He did not have the throwing capabilities uh, well, of Brett Favre. You know what I mean. Brett Favre was only with the Green Bay Packers and the Vikings. Vikings. He was only with two teams. But mm. he, was, he was traded. He wasn't let go. Tim oh, Tebow yeah, was let right, go. Right, true, he was let go right. by both teams. I think the yeah. first time he was traded, <laughs> Whoa. he was traded to the Jets, I believe, and then the Jets dropped him. He became a free agent, and then the Patriots picked him up, and I don't know why. I guess Bill Belichick wanted to give him a sh- chance again, but he failed in the preseason. I'm pretty sure a lot of the coaches are wanting to like give him a shot, but just n- not a quarterback. No, he's not. He's more of a running back or a fullback, I'd say. Yeah. But he's got that speed. He could do really good. Yep. All right, now we're going to end the subject of football. How sad. Okay, another thing I wanted to talk about was the whole dilemma with Miley Cyrus at the VMAs. Oh, another one of these. Miley Cyrus. (laughs) Uh, Yes, everyone used to love Miley Cyrus when she was Hannah Montana. Not true. Very true. No. Little girls, yeah. No. Well, that, that's not everyone. That's mostly a lot of people. Most love. American girls. Actually, some Asian girls, too, in the foreign countries. And now, you know, I don't know what happened to Miley Cyrus, but something went wrong in that fucked up head of hers. You want You want to know what I think it is? Or, Billy I, Ray Cyrus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She is putting a bad reputation to your last name, buddy. Okay, so what I think it is is um, I saw a post on Facebook and it was that uh, somebody was going on about how uh, they think uh, Miley Cyrus and some other people are just really train wrecked and all this other stuff. And I, and I was thinking about it like I think they just perceive uh, modern pop culture in the wrong way and they go off of that. So they do it more in the usual pop star way, like a Madonna kind of skewed pop culture. <clears throat> and the thing I was telling Joe the other day with the VMAs, and I was thinking like, I wasn't surprised. <laughs> I wasn't surprised at what Miley Cyrus did. I mean, this is Miley Cyrus of today, the 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 pink looking and the twerking and the, all that stuff that she's been doing. This is not the Miley Cyrus of uh, Hannah Montana years. 
So it's like, what are people expecting when they're watching the VMAs? It's not like she's going to come out and start singing some opera. <laughs> Did but, you know twerking was added to the dictionary? The Oxford really? Dictionary? Yes. Wow. <laughs> um, and I was also thinking, like, I think she was upset by it. I'm pretty sure. And somebody, I've seen videos on YouTube where people are saying, like, just leave her alone and all that. And <laughs> leave Miley alone! <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure... A lot of things shouldn't be said. Like, you don't need to really just tear her apart. Yeah, and call her a limb. slut or a bitch or yeah. whatever you want to call her. She's a person. She can make her own decisions. And, and, but she's got to realize that... She what brought she, that to herself. Yeah, what she does, um, people will... Uh, uh, shoot, I forgot. <laughs> but, but basically... If she puts herself out there like that, then she better expect some kind of criticism like that. Because and it's not always going to be good criticism either. Yeah, even if she didn't do that kind of stuff, it may if she just sang really good or just a song, people would still be like, "Oh, she was off. Oh, she looked horrible." Stuff like that, you know. Even if she didn't w- do totally wacky things. I mean, I yeah, she that. she has a really nice voice when she sings properly. Yeah. Yeah. She's not a terrible singer. No, no, no. No, not at all. I, I, I think the same thing about Justin Bieber. Yeah, Justin Bieber. Um, Hashtag that power. <laughs> he, he is not a bad artist. I just don't like his music. And I just don't like his, his the way he puts himself out there. Yeah. You know what's funny? At the VMAs, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when One Direction was on it talking about Thanking their fans and all. If you guys saw Taylor Swift say "shut the fuck up," <laughs> I laughed at that I part. Said, that I, was I, funny. I meant to look that up on YouTube, but I didn't. I forgot. It, it feels it's like a, the perfect night dressed up like hips. Um, it was pretty I'm funny to see this. Taylor Swift say "shut the fuck up." <laughs> SDSU. Welcome back. Welcome back, Brandon. <laughs> oh, and for all you fun gamers out there. Oh, Diablo three is now out. Yes, I, th- I thought it's it, been out already. What? No, it's or been out the for Xbox. the computer. It was out for the computer too. Oh, it's on consoles yeah, now. now it's on yeah, it's on yep. consoles. It's What's on it out on? I don't even know. Xbox three sixty. I believe the PS three. Yeah, I don't know about the Wii. Yeah, no one likes the Wii. The Wii. No, I'm just kidding. The, no, the Wii. The Wii is seven gen. That's the same as Xbox three sixty. Yeah. PS3. New gen. I'm, I was I was hoping it would be for maybe it will be for new gen like the PS4 and the 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 one. <laughs> but uh, for all you Diablo fans, uh, let it, let us know how it is. Um, I don't. I, I know I don't have the game. Do you guys have the game yes, yet? Yes, I'm a huge fan of Diablo. I've played Diablo since. The first one of my so friends really, said it was so awesome. Just just a little thing. What is it, Diablo? Like, explain it's, to us what Diablo. I is. can do this with Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> sit. Sit, yeah. in, sit in the chair of... Mount on thy throne. Of information. Sure. information. Information. All right. And no. now... No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not a good gamer. I'm more of a casual gamer. That's what I uh, express myself as. So I'm not really familiar with the types of... Like RPG, JRPG, MMO. I don't know those things. I don't know, so I can't stop it. <laughs> so I can't go on what Diablo actually is. But it's basically been the same thing uh, for the last three titles. Yes. And expansion packs, which is not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. It's like playing the Elder Scrolls on on computer, except you have a lot more options. Yeah. It's it's a role playing game. There's different races. You have different powers. You go on quests. Is it like an open world RPG? Yes. What Diablo or yeah. Diablo is an open world RPG? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty yeah. much. I mean, so it's like kind of like Assassin's Creed. No, no. Well, no. Well, Oblivion. Well, that is, it's well, like yeah, Oblivion. It's like Oblivion, Oblivion and or yeah. Skyrim and all it's that. It's just really open. It's yeah. it's not as open as those games. It's it's kind of the games where you have a quest and you go into the world that corresponds to the quest. Yes. Oh. There's different races when you have different powers. Yeah, yeah. So when you play Skyrim and Oblivion, other, other than the type of game it is, like what like. What's the background story like? Diablo. Like oh, the title oh. pretty much. Well, I don't want to... How it correlates with the game. I don't want to spoil too much, but the basic idea is... Um, <clears throat> like, in the first game, I don't remember much, and I never beat the game, but my dad played it a lot, so I know the basic idea. 
is um, you're a, basically a warrior in this place, and Diablo is basically taking over the area, and you just have to go stop him. And then the next, uh, the two games after that are, are pretty much the same thing. Diablo comes back, yeah, and just, you go and face This guy's pretty much a pain in the ass. I mean, <laughs> you have to kill him. Diablo like, is harder than hell. Yes, though. I have not. I have not personally beat any of the games. I've played. Really? Yes, I've played them, but I have not beaten them. I've I've beaten Diablo two. Well, yeah, Diablo two and the expansion pack, which is Diablo, and then you go off to fight Bale, which is crazy. <laughs> Like Lord of the Rings, yeah, it's a little bit more hard, a little more hardcore of a fantasy than that. Yes, mm-hmm. no orcs is, but it's a good game. I Orc- haven't played orcs. Diablo three yet, but it looks amazing. It looks man. really good, and I've been following it ever since I heard it was coming out back in. I think it was. It was. This was the, when I they think, said when they were talking about Diablo three. I was excited. I think it was oh nine oh ten. I think one of my friends um, from middle school. <sighs> I forgot who I read it on Facebook. Josh Carrillo. I don't my know. cousin who also has his own oh. podcast. <laughs> ABQ you plugging right group. now? You're plugging his podcast. Wait, is no. is your cousin's name Josh? <laughs> yes. ABQ Sports really? Crew. That's funny because um I knew the kid in uh middle school, his name is Joshua Korea. Mm-hmm. But he's um, I don't cousin. know. I oh, highly Doubt that you guys are related. Yes. Okay. On another subject but for game. It. Oh. Hey, wait. What? I'm, I'm just kidding. You can't just throw off Diablo like that. <laughs> yes, I can. Diablo is gonna come get you. I, I cast you, dude. I'm gonna send Diablo on you. <laughs> I'm him. just kidding, Sick guys. Him. Go get him. Get him, boy. Get him. I cast dark fire magic. I heard, um, I'm pretty excited to try Diablo three because I've never played really any excited. of them. It does look like it does look really fun and amazing. amazing. Yeah, but um, another fun game for you casual gamers that comes out on the seventeenth of this month. It's Grand Theft Auto five. I already pre-ordered it. <laughs> I pre-ordered some of it. It's, 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 I put like it ten bucks awesome. down to it, and I haven't paid it off yet. All right, guys. Brandon. Is that it? So going more. Um, it was really actually. This was really awesome. I love doing this podcast. I mean, we get to express ourselves a little more. Mm-hmm. We're not so shy because there's not a camera in front of us. So yeah. I think we get to show our true colors a lot more. I'm but not really shy. In front it's of been a camera, pleasure. So. Uh, I will join you guys on the next podcast that we have. I'm just going to be Wait, is it- leaving. Where are you going? I'm going to go see the new Riddick movie. Yes, yeah, because you know it looks. So you know what else looks amazing? Your your mother. <laughs> Actually, she's she's slimmed down pretty good. She's looking. She's getting in good shape. But anyways, yeah. Anyway, Dick, that, the fat but corner. You're <laughs> <laughs> Join Brandon next week with the fapping corner. Yes, if you want to tune into the next podcast, I will be doing fap corner. <laughs> Why are you guys leaving so early? I mean, it's seven thirty. He wants to make out time. <laughs> Speaking of fapping. <laughs> Speaking of fapping, yes. So I'm going to tell you all the history of fapping, and I've looked this up. Oh, my God. So fapping originally began in China, believe it or not. I believe the first emperor of the Ming Dynasty found a new way of meditation. And, um, yeah, so he was like, you know what? I'm just going to tickle the pickle. He just went for it. That's exactly what he said. And, you know, now it's just, it's known worldwide, fapping, you know? Keep calm and fap. The fap meme. I can't wait for someone eventually because I just want to give a shout out to all of the six people who listen to this minus us, so the two people. (laughs) But when we eventually get, like, people, they're going to be like, fuck you, Brandon. You don't know shit. Okay. uh, In fact... (laughs) Is I cannot wait like, for those people. Because <laughs> honestly, cannot wait. that shows that you're more perverted than Brandon. Yes. And that's really hard. And you know, if someone gets butt hurt because I'm talking about fapping, then maybe you should grow up a little bit. Because it's <laughs> actually a pretty funny word. Um, excuse me, I don't appreciate that you're talking about fapping because it's really inappropriate. Well, don't listen to the podcast, bitch. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you can't just drop the beat bomb like that, Brandon. <laughs> Express yourself. 
Well, but there. Pretty suck much. It. <laughs> <laughs> you can suck my dick. <laughs> oh, okay. We went too far there. We're not talking about the D, the pickle. <laughs> so you can say bitch and talk about fappy and <laughs> but origins. No, but you cannot say that word. Freaking Jew. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend any Jews, but... <laughs> but Julian, who happens to be one. But Julian, one, who happens to be one, and me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are actually Jewish. I am part right? Jewish, so, yeah. Aren't you part German, too? Yes, which I, is very contradictory. I can't wait for those kids to be like, Oh, that Jew, Stupid Brennan, bitch, who doesn't know anything about Fappy. And then I'm going to call them all neo-Nazis and that they can go to hell. <laughs> You're going to do that. You just say that their mother is Stalin and their father is Hitler. I'm going to say that their mother was a Russian whore and that their father is Hitler. <laughs> we're going to get like a country battle now. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, I'm not going to mention Germany. Let's just not we're mention We're going to start the war. We're going to start <laughs> World War Three because we're talking about Stalin and Germany. <laughs> Stalin's dead, though. <laughs> so so is Hitler. So we're good. Why you, you never like that epiphany. <laughs> yes. When in heat, package your meat. Is that you closing? <coughs> when in heat, package your meat. This is Brandon Simon. <laughs> Avoid a frown, cover your clown. Don't be a prick and cover your dick. Oh my god. How many is there? There's a lot. <laughs> Believe Don't be a joker, cover your poker. It's going to be a whole podcast. Just... There's over a hundred of these th- sayings. And you know this for a fact. Yes, Joe looked them up. Mm-hmm. What? They're on the internet. <laughs> on the internet. You guys are going crazy. There is a so list of 100 things. I am pretty concerned. Get that. So yes, uh, I'm face. selling I'm selling fapping t-shirts for the Zach Lannon <laughs> Foundation, so please buy one. We should start Actually, making those. Things. It's funny because um, another YouTube uh, YouTuber uh, that I used to watch, his name is Timothy De La Ghetto. Um, he has a shirt. It's almost kind of correlated to it. But it's called Eat Skeet. Eat Skeet something cheese. But yeah, it does include fapping in it. Yeah, so I'm going to have personalized shirts that have my face on them, and it's going to say fap. So <laughs> stay calm and stay fap. Calm and fap so. <laughs> stay calm and fap on. Okay, so Joe has a list of all the memes for fapping. And we're done. We're not going to do this whole thing. We'll do that another day. I would like to get onto my subject. If yeah. That's no problem. Let list. him get onto his subject. List. List. Well, I, I already, I don't, I don't, I don't need no, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Are you bouncing out then, Brandon? So say bye and. Big Papa B is bouncing out. B. Rosa. Whoa. That was an awesome name. Is that, is that your pimp name? Hello, this is Big Papa B. Coming to you from what you will. Is that why your girlfriend calls you in bed? No. You sick freak. <laughs> You're beautiful. Are you done? Precious. You really need to put sunblock on your head next time. That's looking really bad. This is me, girl. For what you will. <laughs> we have Smeagol live in the studio. Smeagol, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, yeah, how's it? How's it? Oh, you don't have the ring. Let's start it. <laughs> we want it back. I want the Smeagol, the really casual Smeagol, but like, oh, and you lost the ring. You know, shut the fuck up. You know, I've had a rough life. You know, I've had a rough life. I've lived 500 years in a cave. <laughs> yeah? Yes. So, are you... We're going to get another kid to yell at you, be like, Brendan, you fucking don't know shit. Brent, <laughs> And I'll <go> say, <laughs> you know what? I've watched The Lord of the Rings longer than you've lived. And, <laughs> and, you, and you know for a fact that Gollum lived. In the cave for that long. Yes, because the ring possessed him for that long. It made his skin really ugly. Did you get this from the movie, or did you get this from the book? Book. I read the book. The book? I, I like to... Sh- shut So up. we have a giant motorcycle outside that just loves to make sounds, you know? That's, that's not actually not a motorcycle. That's the neighbors downstairs with the, with the sound box. Dude, yes. we, just, we, we just got podcast bombed. <laughs> You know what possible? we should do tonight, guys? What? We should get down on some origins. I will agree to that. Some origins. You know, I think we should do a... Joe and I will do a gaming podcast for 
for our game. Just you know, yeah, I, I think that'll be too. maybe Franklin can join in. You know, yeah, you know? we can do. A, we'll we can do. We can do. In we'll do. We'll include a gaming section for yeah. all you gamers out there because we're pretty hardcore. I know yeah. me and Joe are, and Franklin is too. So I'm casual, speaking of origins, how many of you guys like that? New Best map? zombies map yeah. ever. I, I mean, think, literally. I think the storyline is interesting. Although I've been crushed by the giant ass robot more than four times already, and it scared the hell out of me the first time. <laughs> I've been yeah, I've been watching Uber Hacks Nova play it, and I'm plugging him now. And the <laughs> first time uh, when he got st- uh, stomped on it. Uh, Kuchu was like, oh, you almost got stepped on it. And then he got stomped on it. He was like, what the hell? I thought it was safe because you said that. It was too funny. But it looks really good, the map. It is an amazing map, amazing gameplay. Although there's those giant things that look like Big Daddies with skeleton heads. Those are a pain in the butt ass. Oh, yeah. I don't it know what they're called. It kind of reminds me of like a weird robotic Brutus. Yes, it uh, it is a giant. But the giant robots are a great feature. I mean, I love it. And the yeah. landscape is really awesome. It's like World War One. It is. It's set mud. in northern France. The mud is stupid. Nineteen eighteen. <laughs> but it's it's actually that's. It's, I'm glad they're putting the realistic. Yeah, things it, into it. it's really the map is really realistic with the mud and and the facts and I mean, really you don't walk that slow in mud. You know. Well, you never know. It's you know, some thicky mud. You guys are probably gonna go off on me about this because I know you guys. Do you like? Do you all like Call of Duty? Like really like it? Yes. I really do. Kind of. I'm more uh, of a Halo fan. Okay, so. <laughs> I think they should stop making Call of Duty games. I say you should get the fuck out. Okay, I should, I, I <laughs> say, <laughs> how about we just all hold down Julian and cut okay, off ready? his pinky toe? I'm going to give out the top three games I think they should stop making. Mario. Call of Duty. Mario. Super Mario. And uh, <coughs> Assassin's Creed. I Forget. think this is cease and desist. And I'll tell you why. Call of Duty, especially with the zombie mask, the DLC, but they're all the same thing. All the same thing. Same concept, except the story's different on them. And um, there's, it's basically like the retexturing the map and the people and all that. Assassin's Creed is, they've been stretching out the story a lot and it's pretty good, but they're stretching it out to like these weird lengths. And I think that, I mean, there's only so much you can do with it. And I, there's been a few games that weren't that good. I, I thought Assassin's Creed, was it three with Connor? Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. That's the only one I've really played uh, from start to finish. But in Super Mario, that has been the same game since it came out back in the 80s. I love Nintendo to death, but that's the same thing. Same concept, but the technology has advanced. since. It, like the recent ones, all they've done is added um, multiplayer and all that. And then there's uh, Super Luigi U, I think it is. Which, and people go on about it, like, I don't think that should have been a different game. Well, it was more of a DLC, but they made it into a different game. So, it's basically like Saints Row uh, 4. It was supposed to be a DLC for the third, but it ended up being a full game. So, thoughts? (laughs) Let's do this. (laughs) Um, Well, one thing I gotta say is fuck you, because I love Call of Duty. Well, maybe, you know, for the Call of Duty thing, they shouldn't stop making it, but maybe stop the zombies, you know, finally fucking finish the goddamn story. Well, what I think they should have done is... Well, well, no, think of it. It's it's pretty much just like a series of books, like, like Harry Potter. It just, one thing correlates to the next chapter, or the next book. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, on the uh, other hand... Just throwing this in there. J.K. Rowling. New Harry Potter book. Harry Potter book Ooh. number eight. Really? What? Oh, man. Yeah. So, some shit's about to go down. <laughs> Dumbledore is not so- really dead. Or something. <laughs> I don't excited. know. Or maybe it's, it has to do about their kids. Yeah, maybe it has to Severus. do about the kids. Um, Let me throw this out before you forget. I think they should have, after... <laughs> After, um, I think they should have done all the DLC zombie maps for the Call of Duty, uh, or Black Ops 2. I think they should have just made that a game. I think they should have just done that instead of... Just well, I'm, I'm pretty that's sure that's what I agree with, it, because they, they take too long to make a goddamn map pack, and we have to wait fucking three months or more until it comes out. <laughs> and you thought that, um, what's it called, that last map pack was going to be the last one. Nope, I knew there was only there's only four DLC map packs. And fucking Apocalypse is the last one. Apocalypse is amazing though. Like 
Forget the ma- well, the new map packs are cool, but I love the new Zombies DLC. I think they should just make a whole another Zombies game by itself like that. I'm pretty sure they would get a lot of money just for that. Yeah, just because Zombies started and Call of Duty World at War. Exactly. And then they took it to Black Ops 1, and now they're taking it to Black Ops 2. DLC after DLC after DLC. <laughs> I mean, sorry if we're spoiling some things for you guys who haven't been getting caught up with the zombie thing, but uh, this is one interesting thing or topic to be talking about. Yeah. Anyways, Releasing Samantha? No catch up. Wait, what's that? Releasing Samantha. I have yet to get there. We should try that doing that tonight. Exactly. I think so, too. Um, I think the farthest I've gotten was turning on all the generators, um, beating one of the robot things. Which Those I, things always kill me, motherfuckers. Shoot them in the face. Don't shoot them in the chest. It's not like Brutus on, um, on the jail. Mob of the Dead. Yeah, Mob of the Dead. Fucking shoot it in the face. Yeah, just shoot him in the And don't take an arrow face. to the knee. No. Did you, you know <laughs> did you guys know where that came from? Skyrim? No. What? Being shot in the knee. It's an old Scottish term. Oh I yeah, think. for marriage. Yeah, for marriage. Yeah. That's why you get on one knee. Because you got shot in the knee. That must have been an abusive wife or something. <laughs> Jeez. I forgot how it all went, but that's it's a Scottish term. Hit it! <laughs> Sorry, Brandon is still here, but he is right, now guys, busy. Big Papa B again. Saying peace out. Join you guys the next podcast. Have fun with um, Jehovah's Witness. What? Yeah. Have fun with um, Jehovah's Witnesses are outside. Oh gosh! Oh god! Are they really? They're, they're gonna shut us down. <laughs> execute! Execute Alpha Six. Nine this- to nine or Tango. <laughs> Security protocol 6-A. We need 7601-0. Alright. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have fun. fun. Have fun watching Riddick. I think it's actually supposed to be a really good storyline. Is it rated R? Yes. I'm not fucking seeing that. It's rated R for retarded. I'm not fucking seeing that rated R movie. But anyways, but yeah, Origins, really good map pack. Um... Like I said, the fire side was getting the generators on, killing the robot. Um, I have yet to go. No, actually, I have gone all the way up to the um, the architecture site. Um, Joe, where's the fire side you've gotten on Origins? I've gotten. I still have, didn't get all the generators turned on because by the time I get to the sixth one, that little midget fucking dude kills me. <laughs> midget dude. The Brutus type looking guy. Oh, the big the yeah. Big daddy or whatever. <laughs> But yeah, uh, one one map pack that I really loved was um, the one before it, Vengeance. I think it was the, uh, the Vengeance map pack. Yes, the map with buried. Oh my buried, god! Buried. The farthest I've gotten was to the witch. The first time where you see the witch. Oh, that that part's easy to get past. All you do is shoot her in the face. Yeah, but I but, but jump scare. There is one achievement I am still trying to get that I have not been able to get. Pack a punching on the first round. Round. I don't know. Round. How is that possible? With the time bomb. Oh. Imagine that. You have to get the time bomb in the, the the mystery box, and then you set it down in the first round, and then you get all the doors open and stuff, and then once you go back to round one, you get all the... You can either have money in the bank from previous games. Money in the bank. Buy or, you a drink. Or you get the chocks and you put them down. You oh, okay. draw them on the wall to get the cash. Nice. But the thing is, you you can't let the stupid witch hit you or, or she takes 2,000 points. Yes. Stupid witch. So you have to be careful with her. You got to have a good gun. Go in there slowly. Don't rush in there and be like, oh, I'm just going to shoot you. No, she'll take your cash. Where are you? There, yeah. there was only like one game where she didn't touch me once. Nice. Yeah. It was pretty hard. I had to go in there slowly, turn around, 
Um, I don't I don't know if um you've watched it, but um a long time ago there's or a while a few years back there was this movie where if you play a game how you die in the game is actually how you die in real life. The Matrix? Oh no. no. Wasn't the movie with Gerard Butler? <laughs> it's it was called, called I'm not Gamer. Sure. No, it's I think it's with Gerard Butler and it's called The Gamer. No, it's it's a really old game. Like they were playing on like the PS2 or whatever. But the way you die in the game is the way you die in real life. Like right after you die in the game, short after your death, like someone got hit with a car and in the game they got hit with the carriage and stuff like that. But in the game, there's also a witch. And so that kind of reminds me of uh, Buried. Just throwing out that out there. So if you guys know the name of the movie, please let me know. So, because I feel like an idiot. <clears throat> All right, enough with Call of Duty. I want to move on to Halo. <laughs> Halo. God. All you Halo fans, are you guys ready for the next game? I am excited. I don't even know what the stories, the bad guys are going to be, but I am excited. The I don't Covenant, play Halo. I don't know if it's going to be the Covenant, the Forerunners, or. Together again. It's, yeah, it's 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 weird. And Julian, you have a Wii and a Wii U. You do not count. So, <laughs> I do not have my Wii anymore. I just have the Wii U. He 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 got the Wii U. 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 Like a cop car. But yeah, um. <laughs> I'm so pissed that they still didn't show Master Chief's face. I'm so pissed. You know what they that would what would happen if they show Master Chief's face, right? The game would just go. Everyone would just in their pants. It's like it's like how Julian was talking to me about what was his name? Spoonerism. Yeah, spoon. Yeah, it'd be it's oh, a mystery. He, yeah, yeah. so much mysticism behind it. It's like um, you think. Do you think Bigfoot will be as popular if, if we found if, him? Yeah, if they found him and they actually found out about him or logged him. And, there would be a lot of hype, but then it would just go down. He would just be like a, an animal, and then he'll probably be kept in a zoo. Or like <laughs> Chupacabra. Just kidding. It's weird how there's these weird animals that no one has seen, but are probably real. Like people... Yeah. They're not so much superstitions, but um, I forgot the word... Right, but well, the the thing about what the thing I think is really interesting about cultures and society over the thousands of years is, <clears throat> um, humankind has basically had the same ideas and fascinations on things for years. And I watch shows like um, Ancient <clears throat> Aliens and stuff like that, and they basically um, they theorize on a lot of stuff. And my mom hates that show, but she put. She puts more into the emphasis that they're saying it instead of they're saying it as a theory. But um, I like there's a lot of um, stories about giants in different cultures, even though they've never met in that time period. Yeah. And, I, and what I think is, I mean, even as a kid, I was thinking about like I had a fascination. Like I wanted to be tall. I want to be big because it has a sense of power and you feel powerful. You want to be that big guy. In that sense, Master Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to Halo. No, but well, that that's why I think there's so many similarities. And then yeah. with the uh, like with the monsters and all that, the Kraken and they basically think it was the giant squid, and it makes sense because back then they couldn't really if if you're out at sea or and that you see other this, one and you see this big ass Nessie. creature. Huh? Nessie. Yeah, Nessie. And you see this big ass creature, you would want to I mean Maybe you would want to um, what's that word? Uh, amaze the people you tell about what you saw. Or maybe you couldn't really tell what you saw, so you exaggerated it yeah. to make it sound like it was bigger than it really was. That's why I think some of the, a lot of the myths, even though they were always going down as myths, I think they've been some of them have been found out. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyways, back to Halo. Uh well, that's what we started topic on. Yeah. But um, for Halo, um, it's going to be interesting because, like you said... They didn't show a lot. They didn't reveal a lot in their trailer. 
Yeah, but it's it, like Master Chief looking but in honestly, the desert I, with a poncho. You never know. It, it could. It, it, maybe it is a Master Chief. Maybe it's one of the smaller players, the smaller Spartans that finally grew up. Maybe we yeah. don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know, but um, the, the, when we when we find out, we we will let you know what it's going to be on, when release date is, and everything. Hopefully, before you find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully before I find out. Or we'll out. just be regurgitating what we, <clears throat> everyone already knows. Well, you never know, but um, yeah. yeah. Halo Halo is just an amazing game. Um, you should stop making that too. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> no. Master Chief never dies. She does. I'm going to shoot him did, in the face. Did any... You can't shoot Master Chief in the face. Dude, he, he, he's pretty much like... Um, What's his name? Every, the guy that everyone makes a joke about. Chuck Norris? Yes, he's like Chuck Norris. But I'm oh. steroid. Yes. I, I, like how you, I searched Chuck Norris on Google yesterday. All right, tell me. Chuck, Chuck Norris, Norris is Master Chief. Chief. No. No, I'm just kidding. It says we cannot look up Chuck Norris because Chuck Norris will look up you first. Or yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Um, you can't search for Chuck Norris. Because yeah. Chuck Norris will search, search for you first. <laughs> Something stupid like that. It's so cool. <laughs> Have any of you guys done Google Gravity? This is stop making Chuck Norris too. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Google Gravity. What is that? Oh, the game that's supposed the creators of Halo. Wait, no. No. I'm thinking of something else. Or is that watch. the console they were talking about? No, watch. Actually, yeah. I have apparently, my... apparently Google's thinking about making a console. I don't know for no, sure. I've heard that. Console. Have you heard about the Steam Box? The Steam Box? It's a PC thing, kind of. It's, it's like a console for games that are Steam on the. Ages. No, it's a, <laughs> it's a console that are that's for the uh, games on Steam, which is the, uh, the PC uh, game thing. <clears throat> so, yeah, and then um, yeah, that's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Crafty, it's working against me. Oh, oh. But anyways, Joe is looking up or uh, googling Gravity. So, so Franklin. So Julian. I have a question for you. I have a quick hey. question for you. Why are you doing that with your lip? I don't like that. <laughs> what the hell is that? Google Gravity. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Google Gravity. Oh, that's retarded. What is it? Oh, is it? Is it like the universe with Google? No, you're throwing around Google's homepage. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so much hype. <laughs> so much fun. That kind of reminds me of like. You're ragdolling Google. Yeah, there, there's <laughs> these ragdoll games like where you can throw a stick person around and. Kill them some ways. Then they'll glitch out and your game's broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you have to reset. Yeah. So, Franklin, I have a question for you. There's something I do want to try, though. What do you want to try, Joe? But what about with the question? Animation. Huh? With animation. What is it? Animation porn? All right. Figure it out now. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. Because I don't want too many gaps. Um, okay, for a question, Julian. Um, Franklin? Yes, Julian. Franklin? Julian? Ooh. I'm gonna break your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> um, m maybe some fans will wonder this: How come you're not in many of the videos? Very Bes good question. Besides two, um, uh, I don't have a job. I'm telling you this, but um, there's a lot of transitions in my life that are going on, and um, it's it's taking a toll on me into growing up, and. Um, and being responsible. So I've been going to school. I am a full-time student right now at CNM. and um, My major is culinary arts. I want to be a cook. Um, but other than school, I also have things at my house that I'm working on. We're um, remodeling our house, putting in new tile and stuff. And then we're also putting stuff in storage and putting things up for sale because my family... Uh, well, my mom, my stepdad, and my two sisters, they are all moving to Arizona. And so that's taking a toll on me. So we're setting things up for sale. So um, 
you know, I've just been busy with the family and stuff um, because this transition is actually uh, pretty hard for me because um, I've been with my family my whole life, of course, and uh, it's going to be different. So I want to spend a little time with them, but um, I'm still trying to do some things with you guys. Um, but it's just, it's just really hard because it feels like I don't have the time. And then working on my car, I'm <laughs> having problems left and right with my car. Ridiculous. <laughs> And so that's um, ruining the chance for me for like driving everywhere. But um, I'm I'm stepping my game up though. I'm still trying. I'm I'm trying to fit in more room for what you're in because um, on on my side uh, I feel like I'm slacking, but uh, I'm still doing my best. Cool. Okay. But yeah, that should answer any questions of if anyone's ever had any. Again, the the two people who maybe watches. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. We have like less than twenty subscriptions, maybe even less than fifteen. Um, yeah, uh, including that, uh, Nicole. Thank you for subscribing. Um, Nicole is uh, a classmate of mine. Another another plugin for our podcast. <laughs> maybe who knows? Nicole, you better listen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> By the way, um, I forgot my math homework. Can you help me out? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She's going to listen to this five months from now and be like, damn it. Well, <laughs> she's a very intelligent girl. She's, she is smart. I, I feel stupid. But yeah. Joe, what are you doing? Are you playing with Google? Gravity? He, was, he was watching this animator versus animation thing. And he was saying that he basically wanted to do. So, okay, point across. <laughs> Ding, Taco Bell. So, Minecraft fans, you probably already know this, but Minecraft 1.7, the next upcoming update with new biomes. Not for the. <laughs> new we biomes, including the canyon, spooky forest. What? Um, other st no, it's really awesome. Like, that sounds awesome, and I don't play Minecraft that much. There's a lot of new biomes coming out, and I'm excited. I thought it came out, and I was like, what the heck? And then I looked it up, and it won't be out for a while. Well, they, they haven't. <laughs> it's to be determined. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, Pretty exciting. Speaking of Minecraft. I'm actually thinking of buying Minecraft for the computer. It's fun. I love it on the PC. Speaking of Minecraft, though. <clears throat> I'm going to announce this now. I've announced it on my personal channel. 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 <laughs> my personal channel. My personal channel is Shadowed and Shred. All caps, Shadowed and Shred, no spaces and all that. And, um, um, and I've announced it on there. I've been working with a program called oh, Cinema 4D. And what I want to do is I want to make this really... I really need a lot of time to work on it, but it's a... Uh, it's, uh, a mini movie I want to call the story of Steve and it's basically the unofficial story of Steve from Minecraft and oh, I want to say Steve Jobs <laughs> I want to make it like a, a like an epic like a like Lord of the Rings uh, Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings style epic movie and I'm working out a lot of stuff with it so <sighs> that's one of the things I'm hoping to get done by next year <laughs> or the end of this year if I Good. Nice, nice. And then, of course, uh, uh, Destiny of the West. If you haven't seen the trailer, it is on What's Your Villain's channel, and it's going to be a uh, animation that I'm doing with several programs with uh, Photoshop, After Effects, and Premiere, and all that. And then um, I'm using an app on the Wii U for some things. So the Wii U. I'm really integrating a lot of technology in this. Nice. So, is there anything else we should talk about? I have no idea. I think we're running out of things to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> We've talked about all the most modern things that everyone talks about in the world right now. Yeah. Let's talk about war with Russia. <laughs> that hasn't happened about yet. That war hasn't with Russia. Yet. That's, not, that's not current. I have modern. a theory on how the world is going to end. Well, how, how do you think that? Does it have to do with zombies? Maybe. Motherfucker. <laughs> I don't think zombies are going to happen. Um, no, wait. I, technically, it's already happened. How? And don't say freaking bastard. No. 
Because that's... a hobo bit someone's face off. No, that's cannibalism, <laughs> not zombie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys want to hear my theory? What's your theory? <clears throat> so you know those planes that inject things into the air, the fuel? Yes. Well, the government is going to come up with some stupid zombie serum, and they're going to start injecting it into the fuel, and we're all going to start turning into zombies. Why would the government do that? Government's asshole. So the government... Thanks, Obama. So... <laughs> <laughs> So the government, even though they're they're douchey in some things, they're just going to be like, you know what? We really hate you, America. We also hate you, the rest of the world. So we're well, just going to turn you to zombies. Who says it's going to be our? What? Well, who says it's going to be our government? Yeah, you never know. You said the government. It's so probably going to be the most the industrial it could country. Be fucking Russia's government that comes up. If anything, I don't think a government would make up the zombie no, serum. No, I don't. I don't think Russia would do anything because they already. Got their shit fucked with, um, with... Maybe Japan wants to get us back for... Hiroshima. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Or maybe Russia wants to get us back from, uh... Oh, well, no, that wasn't our fault. If if anything, I think if a zombie, uh, some kind of virus spreads like that, I don't think it would be on purpose. I think it would be more of an accident with all the testing that... Uh, multiple countries are doing on things, especially with nuclear and all this. Hon- honestly, stuff. I don't think that we would be more in a zombified war or anything, or anything with zombies. But mutations. A lot of you guys have seen some weird crap out there, like videos or pictures pulling up. Like, oh my god, there's a mermaid! Which, I don't think that one was real. Have you guys seen the mermaid video? No. It- or the weird things that wash up on shores, like the weird animal thing. Oh, there's a lot. Of oh, those. do you remember that one show your mom was watching when we were when I was mm-hmm. over and we were eating ice cream? Your mom. <laughs> and I had that stupid thing, little crawly thing that came out of that fish's mouth and it left from that. Oh uh, yeah, arm. I watched that movie the other day. That that's already like a natural animal type of thing. It's like a parasite type of thing. Well, they exaggerated a bit more, which made a lot of sense. Scientific wise, but yeah, but um, and then it's a horror those, story. Those kids that fell in the water and died. Mm. What water? Need to be. It was in a movie. You guys, I, I'm still trying to think of that place in Russia. Chernobyl. Uh, Chernobyl. Chernobyl Diaries. That was a, was a shitty movie. movie. I I liked it. I liked it. I was well, you're an idiot. <laughs> no, I'm I, just I, kidding. I really love those. Let me guess. Let me guess. You jumped when the bear popped out. I loved I when the bear popped out. I don't. I don't. Know. I don't I'm like, remember. oh my god, Kuma from Tekken. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? We just started on this topic. Uh, let's <laughs> let's make this podcast the mummy and wrap podcast whatever. Let's make this podcast the mummy and uh and wrap it up. Oh shut you! No, now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um. What was your topic, Julian? Hey, we were talking about zombies, and oh, he was like, "No, yeah, I got this whole thing Chernobyl. about how it's gonna happen." That's and what then- I was talking about. Chernobyl, though. What? Chernobyl is one of the causes of things mutation or mutating. There is within Chernobyl there was a fish hatchery, and I guess they had a lot of catfish there. Well, this cat, this catfish. This catfish turned into something called like the sum or something like that. And I guess it's big and strong enough to get a grip of your arm and rip it off. Caught and that catfish is it's huge. It's black and nasty looking. Probably dead. <laughs> Might as well look like it. It's living dead right there. Jeez. Zombie fish. No, it's Oh my more... god, it's Attack of the... That should be a Attack movie. of the Zombie Fish! That would be such a dumb movie. <laughs> Speaking of movies, oh my... Have you ever seen The Human Centipede? Oh! I don't want to eat right now, now. Okay, so... Speaking of The Human Centipede, I thought that movie was bad. Like, bad... It, it, it wasn't that bad as in, like, movie-wise. I'm gonna but I wouldn't watch it again. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, <laughs> but like the whole premise and everything, it was really disturbing and disgusting and all that. 
But I was curious. They made a second movie. Yeah. A sequel. People are sick. And I, I was, I was uh, reading the description. This isn't a spoiler. You can read the description on it. The idea of the movie is this guy is obsessed with the movie so much that he tries to recreate it. And he like, he's like this retard British dude. Hey, special. Not it's retard. Like retard is a bad word. Oh my God. <laughs> Even though we've been cursing. Well, um, I, I haven't been cursing that much, but they their fault. Um, shoot. Um, oh, shoot. So I watched it, and that was over-the-top disgusting. And I think one of the reasons why they did it more over-the-top was because of the reaction people had to the first one. So they wanted to shove it more in the face of the people. But it's it's like why why do that in the first place? Like the whole thing is in black and white. Just saying, the whole thing is in black and white. Yeah, no color. I thought it was going to be in the beginning black and white, and then it's going to go into color. I think I think it was really clever though. Like the the idea behind the yeah. movie being that like somebody watches the movie yeah. and then they make their own version of it, and they actually use one of the chicks from the first film. And they used her acting as herself as an actress. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was pretty cool. But God. Oh, yeah, crazy. that 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 movie was uh pretty crazy. I think they got less than three stars the second one. <laughs> Did worse than the first. I gotta go poop. I'm sorry. Oh, you should see the poop sequence in the second movie. Oh. I've seen the second movie. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't really do black and white movies. They they really start to bug me out. So, all you elderly people, <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. I'm sorry you had to live in a time where there was no color. Well, there was color. Even, even though Russia until. looks like that. Anyways. Mm, mainly Chernobyl area. That place is dying. All of Russia looks black and white. Have you guys seen that new um, the TV commercial, I believe, and they prank people and thinking it's the end of the world? Oh! With the new TV, with the new LG TV. Yes. Heck. <laughs> it's so amazing. You haven't seen the video. No, I don't watch TV much anymore. It's not. It's even on YouTube. It's on YouTube. I haven't even seen it either. It's um. Hold on. My advertisements don't work. Okay, so it is an advertising commercial. So what? The, can you hear me? All right. Am I good? Am I good? Yeah. Closer. Okay. But. <laughs> The commercial is pretty much, I, I forgot what size it was, like, like 64? 82. 82 inch TV, LG, sharp image, HD. amazing, HD. And what they do is mount it on the wall and have a picture of the city in the background, of the actual city they're in from their distance. They're trying to make it look like... Oh, like, like you're looking out a window? Yeah, like you're looking out the window. Let's and what they going. do <laughs> is they, big... on the top left corner of the screen, there's a meteor coming down. Oh God. <laughs> and the person that's being interviewed or whatever is looking out the window and freaking out, thinking that it's going to be real. Mm -hmm. So when it hits, and the shockwave, of course, is coming, and boom, the lights go off. And they're freaking out. I bet they use, like, surround sound. They're just... Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they had... Like something, uh, some mechanical engineering in there to where the the room vibrates, shaked, so, yeah, mm -hmm. shakes. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's intense. Like I was like, "What is this?" And then I thought it was real at first when I first watched it, and then I realized it was a prank later on because the lights go out. And there's a camera that can see in the dark, of course, and it flashes on. Mm -hmm. And you just see, like, the people, like, mm -hmm. crawling on the floor. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened? Oh, my like, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> it's intense, but it's so funny. <laughs> we need to show you. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to show you. And after the podcast. Yeah. So, what do you think we're up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm ready this, to wrap it up. Podcast is last long, but um, <laughs> at least we've been staying interested and in talking. Yeah. Uh, we originally had like what uh, four or five topics. Yeah, see, I told you it was going to go like this. Yeah, <laughs> but it's pretty interesting. So, um, I'm Franklin. Binks here. 
Brandon is at the movies. Fair. <laughs> and I'm uh, Julian. And we're all from What You're Rillin, of course. And eventually we're going to come up with a snazzy name for our podcast. But right now it's What You're Rillin Podcast. What's your real in podcast? Soon to come on iTunes. Hopefully, if I can figure it out. But for now, it's going to be on YouTube. <laughs> what you speaking? What you talking? What you doing? What you saying? The what you cast?